And uh, let me pick other question on the chat. Could we uh, elaborate on consensus sequence for a single organism? Consensus or, or several organisms? Actually, no, there's no consensus sequence for one uh, organism. Single organism, consensus means it is the most conserved portion of your sequence uh, from different organisms in the same. Uh, so that's why there should be many uh, organisms we have to compare or many sequences we have to compare between them to get the consensus, the most conserved. So uh, it's very easy to, to do this, uh, copy this consensus sequence here from gel view, and we can just uh, open another, let me say new file and uh, text file, for example, and then go here and then paste, paste your uh, consensus sequence here. Here is a consensus sequence I just uh, extracted from Jalview. How we can, how I did this, it's very simple. Let me le, no. I will tell you how to, uh, can you get demonstration with shift and control? Let me sh show you something, uh, uh, the, the program itself, Jalview program. And then here is the consensus. Let, let me open the Jalview program for you. Then uh, I can go here in the consensus and right click, right click, right click, and then copy here, it's written copy consensus, copy consensus sequences, which is the last option from that menu. How we can get this uh, menu? Right click uh, on the, that, and then you can get, get this menu and the mouse, and then get copy consensus sequence. Once you get this copy consensus sequence, you go to uh, a text file, open text file, as you see. And then from that text file, you can paste it. You can paste it like this. So now uh, you have the consensus sequence. What I will, what purpose I did this for? So what for I did this? So I did this because, for example, I would like to get this consensus sequence to build for some people, build like the structure, the, the 3D structure of that protein. So I compared between different proteins, different, uh, different version of that protein to get the consensus sequence to try to predict the secondary structure and also try to predict the 3D structure which I'm going to use it later on, for example, in docking and in, uh, in modeling and stuff like this. So it's very important to know what are you going to do next after making a multiple sequence alignment. So depending on what you're going to do next, this is depend, uh, depending on that, you will have to uh, use the, what kind of program and what kind of information you would like to get from making a multiple sequence online, uh, depending what you, so that's why, I, as I said to you before, it's a very important key step uh, in, the, in, in bioinformatics and based on that multiple sequence alignment you did, uh, based on this, uh, you, will, uh, you will know what, uh, what you will do next.